Thanks for checking out part two of my two-part series on 10 unusual things to do around London. We're going to be featuring number six through 10, and we're gonna dive in just now. At number six is take a train ride. Now I'm not talking about taking the underground tube, which is prolific throughout London and you pretty much can't miss using it. In this case, I'm talking about an incredible experience of getting on a steam train for an incredible and indulgent experience that is often out of this world. London Place hosts a few experiences that you can enjoy on a train, so we're definitely going to highlight them here. You can let out your Perot on the murder mystery lunch with departs from Victoria Station aboard the British Pullman luxury train, the sister train to the renowned Venice Simplin Orient Express. This experience will transport you back to the 1920s with the champagne reception, the opportunity to solve a murder mystery, a five-course silver service lunch, and a scenic journey through British countryside and coast. If you prefer a less mysterious adventure and want to pack visiting the beach into your train ride, then you can jump on the 1920s luxury train and journey to Broadstairs for the day. The trip not only takes you to the beautiful seaside town, but also includes a three-course brunch, a three-course dinner with champagne reception. And for anything we mentioned in this video, we'll definitely include the link. Next up at number seven, you can view London street art. One of the things I love so much about London is definitely checking out art in the museums and galleries um, that we know throughout London. However, you can check out art really while you're outside enjoying the incredible streets of London if you know where to look. If you want to grab a coffee, take a walk and soak up the culture before heading to the big tourist spots of the London Eye, London Dungeons and the London Aquarium, then you must visit Leak Street Tunnel and Waterloo Vaults by Waterloo Station which is also host to the Droughts Board Game Cafe, which offers delicious food and cocktails over a huge collection of board games to play. The Leak Street Graffiti Tunnel regularly has street artists creating their own works of art, so you'll find something new each time you visit, and is actually funded by renowned street artist Banksy. Another great place to check out is Brick Lane in Shoreditch. Shoreditch as a whole has so many incredible streets to check out art. You can even start at the Stolen Place Gallery on Osborne Street, heading towards the famous markets with artwork almost on every street you pass. At number eight on our list, you can take in the views of London. London skyline is one of the most diverse and beautiful in my opinion. I often call it being schizophrenic. From the modern skyscrapers to the classic buildings, you could even spend evenings sipping a cocktail with friends and taking in the views almost every night and satisfy your architectural dreams. While we already have a great video on my top rooftop bars in London, we'll include the link above. I've also got some unusual spots that you might not have heard of, so we'll feature them now. We're going to feature the Garden Museum. Get a two-in-one with this less-known museum in the heart of London. Just off of Lambeth Bridge and next to the London Eye, the Garden Museum is just £12 to visit and is a green thumbs dream place to visit. But that's not all. You can climb the 14th century tower to take in some incredible views across the water and into London. If you want to know if the 131 steps are really worth it, view the pictures shared by those who visited on the 131 step challenge hashtag. Then there is Severn Droog Castle. While England has its fair share of castles, this grade two listed 18th century folly is less well known, but offers a 360 degree view of the capital. It's just an hour outside the city and well worth a visit. You'll be amazed by the stunning views from Shooter's Hill, one of the highest points around, and this castle is among an ancient woodland too, so it's perfect for an afternoon stroll. Number nine on the list is head to the markets of London. London has countless markets for visitors, whether you're a local or a tourist. From a farmer's market to vintage markets, their markets abound. And while Portobello Road is definitely the most famous and often arguably the busiest, you may want to head to a few lesser known markets around the city. For example, you've got the Columbia Road Flower Market. Every Sunday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., you will discover the stunning seasonal flowers at the Columbia Road Flower Market in Bethnal Green. It is London's most popular flower market with an incredibly incredible history surviving through World War II. The market not only provides stunning blooms, but also has bread and cheeses, antiques, garden accessories, exotic international foods, soap, candlesticks, and Buddhist artifacts. It truly is an experience you don't want to miss. 
we've got Hackney Wick Flea Market. If you love retro and vintage, then you'll want to get to this East London for the Hackney Wick Flea Market. Opened in 2013, the market quickly expanded and offers a huge variety of finds for the vintage lover. There is a diverse range of events, so you must, must check out their calendar before visiting. Next up is Leaden Hall Victorian Market. If you're a Potterhead, then you might have noticed that this stunning market has some similarities to the scene in which Harry purchases his wand. The market itself dates back to 1321, starting as a meat, poultry, and game market. It is now home to a number of boutique retailers, restaurants, cafes, wine bars, and an award-winning pub. Unlike the other markets, which are shopping destinations, but this is well worth it, even if only for the stunning architecture or to keep dry in the classic British weather. I love that as a lender, I'm never too far from green space. And while the Royal Parks are a must visit for tourists, you may want to head off the beaten path in London to discover quaint and unusual gardens of London that are truly magical. I've got a separate video of some of the best local parks in London that you might want to check out. For today's video, we're going to highlight Brown Heart Gardens. Located in Mayfair and parallel to Oxford Street, Brown Heart Gardens is a peaceful raised roof terrace with a 50-seater cafe. It's a peaceful retreat away from the hustle and bustle of the shopping centers of London. With tropical raised beds, water features, trees and plants, this little serene garden is a stunning place to visit when you're in the area. We've also got the Crossrail Place Roof Garden. As part of the Elizabeth line, Crossrail Place Gardens in Canary Wharf opened in 2005 and floats in a futuristic bubble with tropical mix of plants and trees from across the world, showing views of the skyscrapers that call Canary Wharf home. It is open until 9 p.m. Uh, or until sun sunset in the summer and is free to visit and is a great garden to bring the whole family as they host regular festivals, events, and even has an 80-seater performance space. So have you discovered some unusual and different things that might help you see a bit more of London? I hope these videos have been helpful. Make sure to check out part one if you missed it. Please make sure to hit that like button to let YouTube know that I'm putting out great content and leave me a comment if there's anything unusual that you might have discovered that you're going to check out. Also, you can leave me a comment if you um, perhaps have some other things to recommend. If you want to stay in touch a bit more frequently, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My handle is Onyx London Life, where I put out daily content and you can see a little bit more of the lifestyle that I get to experience as I get around as a property agent and enjoy more of London. See you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great tips and information about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.